So what we have here is a particle moving with a velocity of 10 meters per second and a constant retardation of 4 meters per second square. And the question is find the distance covered in the third second. And the options given are A 0 meter, B 0 0.5 meters, C 2 meters and D 1 meter. So let us first draw a neat diagram of what exactly is happening and what are we being asked to find. So the particle is moving with a velocity of 10 meters per second in this direction and the acceleration is acting in this direction at 4 meters per second square and therefore we write it as minus 4. So this acceleration is acting against the direction of motion and therefore slowing down the particle which means that at some point of time the particle's velocity will become zero and once it becomes zero it'll start moving in the reverse direction because you can see this acceleration is trying to pull it in this direction constantly. Now let us visualize the motion a little more and say the particle starts at zero second then at the end of one second, it has covered this distance. And at the end of two seconds, it has covered this distance. And at the end of third second, it has covered this distance. And you must note that the third second starts here and ends here. Now, recall the lesson on equations of motion in which I had mentioned the displacement of a particle in the nth second as Sn is equal to velocity initial plus 2n minus 1 into a by 2. So with this formula, the problem seems quite simple to solve. All we need to do is put n equal to 3 seconds to get the answer. So let us go ahead and do that. And what we get is Sn is equal to 10 plus 2 into 3 minus 1 into minus 4 by 2 which equals 0 meter. Then option A seems to be the right answer but you need to pause and think whether it is the right answer or not. Well the answer is incorrect that is A is the wrong option. Now the reason it is wrong is that you must remember that this equation gives displacement of the particle in the nth second and not the distance covered in the nth second and we have been asked to find the distance covered in the third second and you must remember that displacement and distance are two different physical quantities that is displacement is a vector quantity and distance is a scalar quantity so if the question had been what is the displacement of the particle in third second then the answer would have been zero meters let us also examine what exactly happened in the third second in the third second or in the duration of the third second the particle has moved from here to here and then returned here thereby giving a zero displacement in the third second so let us now go ahead and find what is the distance covered in the third second. Now, one thing we can be sure of because of the analysis we have done so far is that the particle's velocity became zero at some point of time before the end of the third second. Simply because the displacement in the third second was zero, which is possible only if the particle started moving back in the third second, which again is possible only if the velocity became zero and the particle started its reverse journey. So let us find the time when the velocity became zero in the third second. And to do this, we will use the equation V is equal to V naught plus 80 and we put V is equal to zero. That is the final velocity is equal to zero. V naught or the initial velocity is 10 meters per second and acceleration is minus 4 meters per second square and what we get is 0 is equal to 10 minus 40 or t is equal to 2.5 seconds. So this means 
that when the third second of travel started, that is between two and three seconds, or this section of the journey, half a second into the journey, the particle's velocity became zero. And due to the acceleration in this direction that was slowing down the particle, now started pulling it back. And since we know that in the third second, the displacement was zero, we can say that the distance covered between 2.5 seconds and 3 seconds must be equal to this distance because then only displacement in the third second would be zero. Now, what we need to do is find the distance covered here. And if we multiply it with two, we will get the total distance covered in the third second. So we can either find this distance or this distance. And we see that it is easy to find this distance because we know the initial velocity is zero here and the acceleration is minus four meters per second square. So we will use the equation x minus x naught or delta x or the displacement is equal to v naught t plus half a t square. And what we get is delta x is equal to zero plus half into minus four into 0 0.5 square, which equals minus 0 0.5 meters. And the reason we're getting a negative value is because technically this equation is still telling us that this is the displacement, which is in this direction. See another way, this negative sign is indicating the vector nature of the displacement. But here we know that this displacement is also the distance covered. Therefore, we can say that the distance covered in third second is this into two, which equals one meter. So this is the right option.